today we're going to replace the serpentine belt on a 2015 BMW 328i. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is remove this air box. We're going to go ahead and open these up. And then I'll do this line here. Okay, next thing you want to do is move the whole box forward and pick it up. Just like that. And then they just pop in here. Just like so. Next thing we're going to do is take off these air intake piping. All right, so we'll grab a flathead and loosen this up. Once you have that loosened up, it's gonna come right off. And I'll just set this up here. You know what, let's go ahead and just remove it. Let's go ahead and do this pigtail. Alright, once you undo this pigtail, there's also a vacuum line right here. Let's go ahead and pull that off. And we'll set this to the side. And then this comes right off. Just like so. Set that to the side. Alright. Now the fun part begins. Okay, so let's move this vacuum line and this pigtail to the side. We'll loosen this pipe down here so we get this out. Then we'll take these clamps off the hoses and we'll work our way in. Alright, so I'll start off by loosening up this bottom clamp. And Out that comes, it's latched on right there. We'll go ahead and unlatch it. Might need a flathead to open that up. Okay, it looks like uh, you could actually just pull this out. There it is, it's not broken. See the little teeth it has right there. All right, and that gives us a lot more access, but we still need more access. Um, this looks like it's part of the cooling line, so there's. Yep. Hear it. Okay, so this one. I don't think that's a cooling line. It goes to the oil. Alright, so let's just start removing hoses out of the way. Actually, before I make this job any harder than what I'm thinking it is, because I haven't even looked up on YouTube to see how, see how you take this off. I'm just doing it freehanded. That's usually what I do. But, to get the knowledge, but I don't think I need to remove all of this stuff. We have a lot of access here for the belt. The only thing we gotta do is remove this serpentine uh, tensioner pulley right here. And I think we could access it. We don't need to remove anything else. Let me try to uh, remove that tensioner pulley and uh, we'll loosen it up to take the belt off and see if it co comes off. All right, it looks like I'm right. Uh, this one's going to be a 16 millimeter socket. And next thing I'll do is just try to break it loose. Oh God, without stripping it and I need both hands. See, I'm always right when I need both hands. There it is, it's off. Uh, I just got it in the way. Dang it. Celebrated too early. <laughs> Put the fucking camera down. Yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. Even though it's pretty simple. I have the new belt right here. But let me see. There's no pattern of how it goes. 
So I'm gonna make a quick little pattern of how that goes and we should be set. All right, there it is. Not the best, but it shall do. Yeah, it explains to me how this belt is ran. And there it is. This belt is um, dead completely. Jesus Christ. And there it is. That's how you remove a belt, a serpentine belt on a 2015 328 Turbo I. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.